Hey guys, it's Valerie. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey, what's up? Um, are we surprised that I have like 14 more books to show you of rebinds that I've done in the last like month? We shouldn't be. Let me just tell you now, don't be surprised. So this is going to be a part two of showing you guys all of my rebinds that I've done. I don't have all of them physically with me because some of them I have done for other people, whether it be a gift or for commission. And I also do a giveaway every single month on my TikTok. So if you're interested in that, I do a special edition book giveaway every single month where if you win, you get to pick any book you want that I will rebind for you into a special edition. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and look at my description and check out the link to my TikTok. Um, it's always pinned on my profile if you're ever interested in entering. I always have a giveaway going on on my page, so you always have a chance to win. So this is, like I said, part two. Um, and I filmed part one of this video only like barely over a month ago. In the last month, I have made 15 14 plus books um i'm going to show you all of them and the ones that i don't have physically with me i will show you a picture but i have made some of the ones that i'm showing you a picture of multiple times because i have sold them a lot of people when i post a video sometimes if one goes a little bit more popular or if it's a book that's more popular on book talk then people will comment and be like oh my gosh can i buy one of these and i will respond and be like yeah so there are some that i've made um duplicates of. but the ones that I do have with me I have one two three I have 11 with me right now so I thought I would just show you what I do have and let's just hop right into it and this is kind of going in order of when I made them the best that I can remember I'm pretty sure this is like 100% accurate but yeah here we go the first one is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and um, this one has hair all over it and these ones are also dusty my harry potter ones because they were on my bookshelf downstairs and the shelf that they were on i didn't know was dusty so <laughs> i just dusted it last week i swear but i do always have the fan going on now because it is getting hot where i live so it's getting dusty faster but um yeah here's harry potter and the half blood prince if you didn't know i am doing the whole harry potter series someone gave me like just a bunch of old Harry Potter books and they're all different sizes and from different sets so it doesn't they don't really all match but they do they're all the same design but I'm just doing it for fun I do want to redo the whole Harry Potter series like the same size and like actually have a set on my shelf that's I don't know more official but yeah this I'm just doing for fun Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince I love this one I think this one might be Mm, it's not my favorite from the collection that I've done yet. I think Goblet of Fire or Chamber of Secrets is probably my favorite. Um, and also this one isn't done yet. I'm going to add a crown right here. Every single one of my Harry Potter ones I put a little symbol. I forgot to do it for this one. So I'm going to add a crown still, but I am out of this final, so I haven't done it yet. I will. The next one is the Deathly Hollows. This one, uh, I do love how this looks in person. The colors go really well together and they complement each other so well. It looks so like simple and pleasing to look at and I love the little broomstick on the back yeah she's there's nothing really too special about her <laughs> okay next is a court of wings and ruin I love this one this one might might be my favorite from the collection that I've done or no this one I think maybe might be my third favorite behind the one that I'm gonna show you next it's really cute though I love the pink with the purple um, but yeah, it has the cauldron on it. If you know, you know. Uh, and then the quote on the back says, You do not fear, you do not falter, and you do not yield. And you know who said that. If you don't know who said that, then you're a fake fan. Just kidding. Um, yeah, this one's really cute. Love it. I'm gonna reread that series soon. And again, with that series, my second favorite one that I've done from it is a court of frost and starlight i love how this one turned out i did a different material than i did with the rest of them for this one because i thought it would be cool since this one is a novella it's different than the other ones a little bit she's a little special i did a different material than the rest of them so i thought it turned out really cute and i actually love this material i learned that i like this material better than the material that i was using for the rest of them so i kind of wish i did it vice versa but whatever this one still turned out really cute. I liked how I did the snowflakes on the spine instead of actually writing the title. I think it looks really cute when all the books are together on the shelf and all you see are the spines. I think it looks really cute. Um, yeah, she's cute, simple. And last from Akatar, I have A Court of Silver Flames. And I am happy with how this one turned out 
but the only thing I would have changed is the spine. I wish I did a flame right there. That was my original goal. I don't know why I put a mask because my goal, my goal was to do a mask and a flame because it's a court of silver flames, you know? <laughs> I don't know why I did two masks, but I did. I do want to redo the series eventually anyway with a whole different design. I have a whole different concept um, in mind that I will show you. I already started um, accidentally. I honestly just did it. I'll explain when I get to that one. <laughs> but yeah, this one is cute. The quote on the back is, your power is a song and one I've waited a very, very long time to hear. Now, I didn't put who said that quote because I didn't want to put any spoilers, so it's just a quote. <laughs> and next is my least favorite. Honestly, this one, I just broke a nail. That's the second time this one broke today. I think I'm done with these nails. Anyway, my least favorite one because it honestly got messed up. The bird got messed up. I think the iron just, I don't know, the... The vinyl that I used was a very kind of like cheapish thin vinyl that I didn't like how it transferred to the cloth. Um, I also forgot to put the author name on this one. I've never done that. I don't know how that happened. I think I was just bored and really wanted to rebind a book so I just grabbed one on my shelf and was like alright. So I'm probably going to end up ripping this out honestly um, soon and rebinding it again because I really do not like how it turned out and I'm sad because this one actually got a lot of views <laughs> on my TikTok and I'm like, no, <laughs> watch the ones that are actually good. Okay, next is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I do like how this one turned out. Um, I think, I don't know, it's just, I really like the colors. As you can see, I went with the original colors of the original cover with the purple. Um, I wanted to throw in like a little bit of greenery in there, but I really didn't want to go and get a bunch of green vinyl just for a tiny, tiny little dot of green, you know? And I also, I like how it turned out as is anyway. The, the quote on the back says, a dimwitted king is a dead king, a dimwitted enforcer is a defeated empire. And I love that quote. And the only thing about this one that I would change is maybe the spine. I'm not sure. Sometimes I look at it and I actually like how big and in your face it is. And sometimes I don't. What do we think? I don't know. Okay, next we have The Shadow and Bone. I had an extra copy of this book, so I figured I would rebind it. And the only thing that's unfortunate with how this one turned out, I loved how this one turned out. Don't get me wrong. I love the design. I like the colors that I went with. It, but the back is crooked. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I couldn't tell when I was making it, but then when I was done and I was filming it, I was like, oh no, that's so crooked. <laughs> so... Yeah, the back's a little crooked. Maybe I'll end up redoing it in the future, but I'm in no rush to. It still looks good on the front, so... And the spine looks good as well. So we just won't look or think or talk about the back, um, other than the fact that it says, Make me your villain, and I love that quote. Never read the book, so I don't even know who says it or the, the conversation that goes behind it, but I like it. So... Shadow and Bone, guys. Shadow and Bone. I have the whole trilogy trilogy actually right behind me um and i can't wait to read it anyway next you guys i rebinded <laughs> akatar for the millionth time because the reason why i've been rebinding akatar i feel like so many times i've only actually done it four times um is because i've never been fully satisfied with how it came out and i wanted something that was not going off of the original color scheme because that's what i was originally doing for my rebinds for the akatar set was inspired by the original colors so i wanted to do something completely different not using the original colors so this is what i came up with um here's my court of thorns and roses rebind i absolutely love her so after i made this one i took the ugly one that i made took it apart hated wasting that material but i hated the way that it looked it was pink i don't know if you guys you might have seen that video on my tiktok i did post it it was the pink one i made it i hated how it turned out you guys i don't even know why i posted it but i took it apart redid it and i'm absolutely obsessed with how it turned out and that is why i now want to like do the whole set again one because i don't i'm not fully satisfied with how my set turned out and two because I want them to look like this now. I want the vibe to be this. Um, so yeah, sometime in the future, maybe like, I don't know, five months from now, I'll redo the set again. I am not in any rush to restart doing this series again. 
I want to read them first. I want to relax and just enjoy them before I rebind all of them again. <laughs> this one and the next one I'm about to show you guys are probably my favorite rebinds that I've done. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. The next one, the last song. I love how this one turned out, you guys. I think it. it's also just because if I was a rebind, I feel like I would either be a really cute floral pinky girly one or I would be this one because this one is so ocean vibes. Obviously if you've seen the movie or read the book, like this, the setting of this book is at the ocean. The main character is staying at her dad's house and he lives on the beach. So yeah, and then the back has the little sea turtles on it and if you know, you know, so cute. I love that I put those there. The spine is very simple, just as the last song, and I also love the front and end pages because it kind of reminds me like of sand, like the color of sand, so it just fits the whole vibe. Like I love how this one turned out so much, like I have to give myself a pat on the back for this one because I love how this one turned out. I will never like give this away to anyone, I'm sorry. Not that anyone asked. I'll, I'll make it again, but like I love her so much and I actually have not read the book yet so I did start it um oh my gosh I forgot that I actually have like a really cute bookmark that matches I was like on page 12 yeah page 12 chapter 2 there we go Okay, and before I show you guys the last like physical copy that I have, um, the most recent one that I just finished last night, um, I will show you the pictures of what I don't have with me right now. So the first one I did was a study Bible for my stepmom. She recently had a birthday and this is a study Bible that she's had for years and years and years and it was a paperback, it was kind of beat up. Um, and it's one that she like looks at like every single day so it's really special and for her birthday I rebinded it for her and this is what it turned out looking like if you want to see like in full detail these ones that I'm showing you pictures of there's even a couple more on my TikTok that I'm not showing in this video like some giveaway winner rebinds that I haven't showed in this video so if you guys want to see some more rebinds that I still haven't shown on my YouTube channel please go check out my TikTok or my Instagram it's actually a bookstagram I post on there too all my rebind stuff um, and I post on my stories a lot there so my Instagram and my TikTok Go ahead and check those out, linked below. Um, I am constantly posting bookbinding stuff on there. So yeah, and then next is Fourth Wing Rebind. I did this one with silver stars and I also did it with purple stars. Um, those were both orders that um, people purchased from me. I did actually four of those and I'm about to make two more. So that'll be fun. And then another one I only have a picture of is a Game of Thrones rebind that someone else also bought from me. This one, I didn't take an updated picture of. It says Game of Thrones, but the book is actually called A Game of Thrones. I added the A later before I shipped it to the <laughs> person who bought it. Don't worry. Here we go, last but not least. I am so excited about this one because this is the first time that I have ever used leather. It's not real leather. Off to bind a book and it turned out so good. And it was so fun to actually work with and it was not nearly as difficult as I thought it would be. It was honestly, if anything, easier than the, the book cloth that I usually use. Um, so yeah, actually this isn't, this wouldn't be really called cloth, would it? So, yeah, this is the Cruel Prince. I am rebinding two of these and two more fourth wings. So yeah, and the fourth rings I have not started yet. I wish that I could show you guys them, but they are not ready yet. But I am going to be rebinding two fourth wings with the same design that I just showed you guys, but I'm going to be using black leather. So I'm really excited to see how that will turn out. I will obviously show you guys on my TikTok as soon as I'm done posting them. Wait, what? Obviously show you guys on my TikTok as soon as I'm done making them. Of course on my YouTube once I post a part three to this, but that'll be a while from now. So if you want to see my rebinds as they're being made, check out my social media because I keep everybody updated on there because I just can't stop rebinding books and I also can't stop talking. So I don't know. It's a good thing YouTube exists, I guess, and TikTok <laughs> and therapy. Anyway, another nail. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Oh!
how I love being a woman. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you guys have any other ideas of things that you want to see from me, oh my gosh, I didn't even address the fact that I have a new bookshelf behind me. <laughs> yeah, I got a new bookshelf. It's actually super freaking tall. You can only see two out of six tiers that I've got going on here. It's beautiful. You guys will see the whole thing in a vlog that I am posting later. I've been vlogging for the last like week and a half, but not really because I keep forgetting to pick up my camera. I've just been really busy with bookbinding and my actual full-time job that I also do have. Crazy, I know. But yeah, so I did a whole like setting up my bookshelf thing on my TikTok and I filmed it for YouTube and I'm also going to do like a bookshelf tour, I guess, kind of show you what's on my shelf. I think I actually already did that. Did I already film that? I think I did. I don't know. I'm, I need a nap. I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys would like to see from me next and I will see you in my next video. Bye!